Uh, these awards are important to me. My friend John Duran is getting one, and uh, he's been active in the uh, gay movement in West Hollywood for a long time. So it's important for me to watch him actually uh, be uh, uh, honored and acknowledged in that way. But of course, it's always important to acknowledge people who are politically active uh, in getting equal rights for uh, gay people who certainly deserve them. It's, I think, if anything, that this, this year has shown is that gay people are tired of being second-class citizens and are willing to uh, make noise and complain about it and fight. Tonight is important because we're celebrating the folks that are on the ground who are making a difference. And um, equality, listen, I'm an African-American woman, you know, and I grew up in a time when equality was equality. Like, whoever marched and fought for me made this day possible for me. So who am I not to fight for, for, for everybody who needs equality? So I'm here because I want to be equal and I think you should be equal too. I think that it's pretty clear to everybody that marriage is the biggest right that American citizens have that guarantees so many other rights. And the reason that we've always gone after marriage is because uh, with marriage come all of the implications that, that don't come with civil union or any other kind of right. So marriage is the, the important one to be fighting for. The reason why it's important now is we had it. It was mandated by the court and it was taken away by a plebiscite. It's important to know that no civil rights legislation has ever passed because the voters voted for it. It has all been passed by court order and by legislators sitting down and voting their consciousness. The, uh, the people will always vote down any kind of progressive behavior because people are easily swayed. And the important civil rights strides have been made by the court system and legislative system. It's what we have in this country. It's called checks and balances. So it's important that we get back on the right track that was set for us by the court and uh, gain the rights back that were taken away from us. I don't think anybody has ever been told that they were married and then they were not married, ever in the history of this country. So uh, it's a horrifying precedent that needs to be rectified. I think it's important for Californians to get involved in the fight for same-sex couples to, to marry because it's all about love in the end. Who am I to stop someone from loving who they want to love? I think it's all about um, freedom and the joy to be who you want to be and to live free and, and, to, um, and to live your fullest life, your fullest self. Who are we to stop anyone from living the life that they want to live? So, I'm fighting with the other Californians. I think all of us should fight together. Um, the Los Angeles Equality Awards are important for me because it really gives an opportunity for everyone to know about the incredible work of Equality California. It gives an opportunity to recognize folks who are so committed to this issue and go above and beyond. And it's a great way for us all to be together and look to the future and make the commitment that you know one day we will have uh, equality for everybody. The Los Angeles Equality Awards are important to me because we need to come together as a community with the leaders that are leading our community and celebrate their accomplishments and celebrate the trailblazing that they do for our community, on behalf of our community, and in all of our communities throughout California. They're very important to me because once a year we honor those people that have uh, done so much for our community in years past and continue to do so much more for the LGBT community, not only here in Southern California, but on a regional basis. The voice heard here in Southern California is echoed not only through the state of California, but through the nation. So the important work of the people that are being honored tonight is something to be marveled. And I hope to one day rival these people that are being honored tonight. It's just wonderful to be here and celebrate with them their accomplishments. Precisamente por lo que has comentado, es un derecho y es un derecho que nosotros merecemos. No queremos ser gente como segunda clase, sin derechos igual que los otros tienen. Así es que lo único que les pedimos es que se agreguen a esta lucha porque esta lucha es nuestra, esta lucha es para tener esos derechos. Así si buscamos este país, un país que brinda los derechos para todas las personas, ¿por qué nos quieren negar este derecho tan sencillo así? Únanse con nosotros.